First of all, how's the, how's the leg feel? Uh, I was feeling better. Just a little, a little stinger. Uh, like right that instant impact just kind of hurt in the moment. I was kind of walking on the sideline and feel better. It's nothing to hand for you moving forward. Ah, uh, no, nah, not at all. What is it against you and Louisville? I mean, you you played your biggest against your career against these Cardinals, don't you? Nah, it's it just uh, my mindset going into the games. Uh, just uh, having that bye week, coming back, getting that perspective, uh, reason why I started playing the game, and just getting back to myself, and just being the best version of me. So it's just kind of working out in my favor. Did you lose some mental focus, that it sounds like, maybe leading into the bye week, that you weren't quite where you wanted to be mentally? I just lead into the bye. We just kind of overlook it and, and, and not fully maximizing each opportunity I have, and uh, just just living too far ahead and not really just focus on it right now and just uh, being great right now. And uh, just that bye week, uh, the UNC game, just kind of put it in perspective for me that you have to be great today. Uh, you can't take things for granted and just uh, be blessed. This is I played with Clemson football. I mean. It's just crazy that I played with Clemson football and just not taking that for granted and just uh, realizing that. That first play of the game, did you land on your helmet awkwardly? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that first play of the game, uh, it still haunts me right now because uh, I broke. So I, I go to look up at the jumbo trying, and the jumbo, they don't have it like they're not recording it. They had like a, the big L, the Louisville L. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, so I, I don't know like what the defense is. So I try to look back to the other side, and that's when he got me. And as soon as he got me, I mean, I just ate the turf, bro. I feel like the turf defeated me today. Honestly, <laughs> had turf won me zero, but uh, yeah, I definitely had turf all in my eyes, uh, in my mouth, my mouthpiece. Uh, so I, I definitely had to come out after that. It's just helmet full of turf. Is that a regular habit for you on, when you break a long run to look up there and, and try to gauge where the, the defender's coming from? Uh, yeah, uh, most definitely it become like a little part of my game because uh, if, if I try to look back, it kind of slows me down. So I try to look up to the jumbo try and see what the defender was. And when I looked up, they had the big, the big uh, symbol up there. So, I mean, <laughs> kind of got me. <laughs> when, when Travis, excuse me, when Trevor has a tough star and throws some, some throws that are uncharacteristic for him, you guys have so much belief in him. To see him come back and play the way he did, is that just come, you guys sort of get used to that? Is that sort of what you expect out of him? I most definitely, we expect that out of every player, just uh, the mindset that we have. Uh, just the way coach uh, coaches us, he say, uh, Kobe Bryant said he'll go on 30 before he go on 12. Just that mentality, just keep fighting, keep pushing, and that uh, we believe in ourselves, we believe in us as a team, and uh, we know what Trevor can do. So I mean, for him to go out there and do that, we know that he's gonna bounce back the right way. So just kind of faith in him, and then vice versa. I mean, we all have like bad plays, but just the camaraderie that we have and the, the genuine joy that we have for each other just helps us go out there and be able to play free. When the passing game's not working. Uh, no, you try, try, try not to uh, put added pressure on yourself. Just try to go out there and make the most out of your carries, uh, your opportunities. I mean, uh, if, if I'm not having a great day, Trev picks up. I'm, if Trev's having a bad day, I should be able to have his back too. So it's just us going out there and landing all the line for each other. Uh, just with the just the culture that Coach has built around this program. I mean, just go out there and leave it all in the field for your brother. You, when you go into the game knowing that you're not going to carry the ball 25 times like some other backs do, um, does that kind of enable you to, to have that mentality that you're going you're gonna to run violently and, and make every opportunity count? Uh, no, honestly, I, I don't know why, but I feel like I go into mind, the, the game, the mindset, where I'm going to get the ball 20 times. Mm -hmm. uh, but now nah, for me, just making the most out of each carry. And uh, I mean, I, I can't focus on the 30th carry if I haven't done my best on the second one. So just going out there and maximizing my opportunity and trying to do trying to do more with less. Uh, I feel like that's what, I, what makes me great, just going out there and be able to maximize the opportunity, no matter the situation or how's the game going, just have an next play mentality and just just hold myself to a standard well that I, I should go out there and play free. Travis, cool. I'm sorry if you answered it. Was it something with your hamstring when you pulled out there? Uh, the nah, it was, uh, I, I was, I had make a, a little cut in my foot, landed awkward, and my ankle kind of like tweaked on me. And like, it was like instant impact, like I couldn't put no pressure on it at that time, but and when I got on the sideline, got across the field, I felt much better. You feel How much fine now? You feel fine now? Uh, yeah, most definitely. How much did you enjoy, enjoy seeing Darian get in the end zone for the first time? Uh, that's kind of crazy. Just, uh, j just knowing what he's been through, his journey, uh, what he's been through through high school, and just finally seeing him uh, just get in the end zone was amazing. Uh, he, he was so excited. He didn't know what to do. I feel like he did about five celebrations in <laughs> 10 seconds. He, it, it, it just... It just shows it just goes to show you that this is bigger than football and that uh, the chemistry that we have on this team, the the backs that we have just all believing in each other, it's just really great. This is brotherhood.